Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you a few hidden mechanics and secrets in the game Soul Mask. So listen up and see if you've seen these things before. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is we've got this armor, the Sabertooth armor. Uh, just like any of the boss armors, you can see it requires to repair or to craft iron armor. Or if you have the upgraded one, then it would be steel armor. So you can see here though, if I want to repair it, I need an iron costume. Now the one thing it does not, well it doesn't specify two things. One, it does not specify what rarity, meaning I don't have to use a red one to repair my red one. And it also doesn't specify if that armor set is intact. For example, we're going to put this over here to be repaired. You can see there's no materials in. I'll put the adhesive. I'll put the saber tooth hide. Now we're just missing the iron costume. I have a completely broken green iron costume. If I put this here, we come over here. Let's repair it. It is now repaired. It's still red. So when repairing, it doesn't matter what color it is, and it can be completely broken. Now I have tried this before. If this iron, if the boss armor set is completely broken and you use a broken one, it will still completely repair it. So that's just a little tip. You don't actually have to use a full one. Now when you're crafting it, it does have to be undamaged, and whatever color you're using is what color you're going to get of the boss armor. But repairs, it does not matter. So that's just a little tip. Now we will move on to our next one. Okay, guys, so here is our second little hidden mechanic. So I know a lot of people... Uh, at least when the game first came out, were complaining about how their mounts were dying randomly, and they had no idea why. So here's a hidden mechanic the game tells you absolutely nothing about. Weight actually does make a difference when taking fall damage. So you can see right now I've got 25 out of 120 weight, so not very much. We've got a little fall here. We're going to fall. We're going to see how much damage we take. I've got 1681 here. We're going to fall. Bam, I took 335 damage. So that's not a whole lot. You know, a little bit of damage, but you can live with that. That's because I weigh almost nothing. Now what if I go in here and I grab this? Now, actually, let me make it so that I can actually walk for you guys. There we go, 112 out of 120. So I can run just slowly. So now we're going to head back up here. And we're going to see how much fall damage I take compared to that 338 if now I'm almost full on weight. So we're going to do the exact same fall here. Ready? Bam! I took 572. It almost doubled. So now think about that with a mount. When you have, say, a, a llama that has 1,200 weight. If you take a small fall with 1,200 weight, compared to a small fall with 100 weight. The damage on that is going to go up so exponentially high, that's why you're losing your mounts. If they are light, you can take surprisingly good falls. This guy right here, I've taken some decent falls on him. You'll notice a lot of these, or actually all of these should say, if you go into their details, fall damage reduced. So they take slightly less fall damage, but that does not matter if you weigh them down. So you always want to check and see if they're near the end of their capacity, they're going to take way more damage than they would normally take. So keep an eye on that. Okay, so our next one, this little thing, I don't know if a lot of people have noticed because it does not say anything about it. If you ever find um, a thrall, a tribesman, whatever you want to call them, and you get them to join your team, but you're far away from your base, do you actually have to wait for them to run with you? Um, the answer is no. If I go here and I go to deploy and I hit F2, follow me, I can hop on my Jaguar and you'll see he'll start to follow. But he is a lot slower than I am on a Jaguar. Now something you'll notice is if you just take off, just periodically, he's just going to teleport to you. So if you ever are in a rather dangerous area and you're trying to get someone home, you've got a mount with you, 
What I like to do is I F6, put him in passive mode, and I'll just take off running. And you'll see, just every so often, just teleports. That way he can avoid all danger because he's just basically going to teleport past it. This is something the game obviously does not tell you to do. Uh, I'm not sure how it was intended. Look, there's some wolves. Too bad, because he's not going to attack them since he's in passive, and he's just going to bloop right next to me right about now. Actually, I was too soon. I don't know where he's at. But, uh, any second now. There he is. So, that's just another little thing. You don't have to actually wait for them. Same thing goes with mounts. Uh, if you're on an alpaca or a jaguar or whatever, and you see a cliff like this, you're like, oh no. And call for mount to follow. And I'll just climb this myself. You'll see they're just going to wait there at the bottom for me. We'll climb up this mountain here. Uh, I guess more of a hill, not a very big mountain. Get a little ways. And boom, there's my guy. And boom, there is my Jaguar. So, just a few tips. You don't actually have to wait for them or have a clear path for them. As long as you make it somewhere, they will soon follow. Now on to the next tip. Okay, so for our final hidden mechanic, number four. If you've ever seen guys like this and you want to loot them and you kill them, and you get one, maybe two items, and you think to yourself, man, this sucks. Why don't I get any items from them? Let me show you a little secret here. So I'm going to stop him from following. We're going to try and grab just one person because it'll make this a little easier. And I missed. But if I do this, I think I can grab one of them right now. Oh, he didn't even pull him. Okay. Lovely. Maybe if I back up a little bit. There we go. This person's going to come over to me. So we're going to fight this person. And instead of killing them, we're going to deter them. Now, the reason for this is not because I want to keep them, but because when they're deterred, I can now take all their armor and weapons. We'll just take all this, and then I can kill them. And when they die, they still drop that same death package they would have dropped. And then now, instead of getting just a few arrows and a septic, and gypsum bandage, I got their armor set as well. So that is just one last hidden mechanic that the game has. You can actually get way more than double the items by using that. So these are just the four little tips. Just to recap, number one with the uh, boss armors, the saber tooth, the frog, the ape, the griffin, the mammoth. You can When you craft them, it has to be the same color. And it has to be fully repaired. But when repairing, you can literally fully repair using a broken uh, set of whatever tier it is, whether it's iron, steel, or enhanced. It could be broken, and it could be any color, even gray. And it won't affect that in the long run. Then the, other, the second one was mounts and you take more fall damage the more they weigh. The heavier they are, the more they're going to take. So be careful when riding back on a llama with 1,500 weight because they will take massive damage. So protect your mounts. The third one, we've got the teleporting followers. Make sure you take advantage of this when you have them follow you. You don't have to wait for them. Do whatever you need to do. They will teleport up cliffs, around corners, all the way across the map if you have them following you. But the thing to remember with that is... Once they're far away, you cannot make them start following you. You have to have them following you from the beginning, and then it will work indefinitely. And last, if you want more loot from people, any person that you can knock out and deter, 
deter them, take their stuff, kill them, and then you get the loot a second time. And it's randomized, so you can get stuff that they didn't even have on them the first time. So, hope these four things help. Please give me a like and subscribe. Continue to watch my videos, and I will keep posting more content for you. And I'll see you next time.